Welcome back guys to another video here on the channel. I'm Hope Sway from Hope Sway's Exotics and today we are going to be feeding one of the most iconic pit vipers here in North America. This is the water moccasin aka the cottonmouth. This is the Achistrodon piscivorus and this is a semi-aquatic pit viper that is native to a lot of the southeastern United States. And with this being semi-aquatic, that means that this snake likes to enjoy land and both water in all aspects of his life. So another cool thing about this snake is it is a part of the pit viper family, which that includes all the rattlesnakes and copperheads as well. Which the copperheads are probably the closest relative to this snake in the phylogical sense, with that being the Echistrodon contortrix. And this is also so close that they can also hybridize and make what they now call a cottonhead snake, which is obviously a cross between the copperhead and the water moccasin. So this is a pretty awesome pit viper. These snakes are not as aggressive as a lot of people make them out to be. They are defensive and more timid and shy compared to a lot of other snakes. One, because they're venomous, which a lot of venomous snakes tend to be that way because they don't tend to want to be handled and things as much really. I don't know if all snakes want to be handled, but needless to say, I don't want to ramble on too much. But they do do this defensive tactic that is very cool. They rattle the tail just like a rattlesnake, even though they didn't have a rattle, but it does sound like that whenever it's bristling in the brush. And they also do this thing called mouth gaping, which is why they get the name Cottonmouth, because they flash their mouth wide open, showing the white fleshy interior of its mouth. And this is a threat display to, you know, be like, don't mess with me, don't touch me, and all that good kind of stuff. So needless to say, let's go ahead and get started with the feeding video today so we got a pretty decent size little rat friend here he actually escaped on me earlier whenever i tried to put him in the cage because i didn't know how our snake here was going to react because he tends to get a little finicky on feeding day here you see what i mean he tends to get a little finicky on feeding day. Plus, I gotta get him a little bit bigger enclosure coming up soon. He's getting a little bit too big for this little 40 gallon I got him in right here. Just to be a little bit more spacious for him to stretch out and do his water mocks and thing. Then we can put a larger water feature inside of it for him. You know what I mean? To get him looking nice and squared away. Noise. Seemed like a pretty decent animation coming from the snake's perspective. I gotta check out the slow mo, make check it all out here. Seemed to do a pretty good job hitting him up with the spice. Got a little bit of dirt in his face. He missed the first couple times, but it's because he was so anxious. Still a beautiful snake. I remember when I first got him from a hatchling, I raised this one up from the very beginning, man. For another bite he definitely looking like he wants to you keep getting close Ooh. I told you Water moccasins don't play that. Stand back a little bit. You gonna learn today, play boy.
But I hope everybody's having good holidays. You know, 4th of July just passed not too long ago. We got some more holidays coming up here in a little while. We're going to have Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween right around the corner. Some more awesome videos to come like that. So I do got some links and stuff you guys can always check out down in the description. It's pretty awesome stuff like water bowls, hides, light fixtures, light bulbs, and all kind of things like that. That you would need if you had reptiles or you're thinking about getting into reptiles or mammals or any kind of at-home pets that you keep in aquariums or just different things like that. So make sure you guys check out some of that stuff. We got a new facility coming out soon, so I got to get all that together get in a building to put all the animals in to keep them locked up and secure and some more space to expand to get back into some stuff that i used to have and i want again because i sold off some of my animals whenever i moved to florida so whenever that comes i'll definitely keep you guys in the loop but make sure you guys are hitting that like button down below subscribing to the channel and watching these videos because that definitely helps out because it helps to fund the channel because everything i make on here goes right back to the animals and the mice breeding and all the other projects we got going on here but if you like to donate make sure you hit the super thanks or super likes button down below that definitely helps out as well and donate whatever you can because i definitely appreciate it 